Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We certainly give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endured forever. Amen. We thank God and praise God for his grace and his mercy. Yes. Little, little boy Daryl, he, he like a little dog man. <laughs> Sing a song, it would be Jesus never fails. Yeah. Yeah. Heaven and earth pass away, mm -hmm. but Jesus will mm -hmm. never fail. Never fails. So we say praise the Lord to everybody. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. We thank him for his grace and his mercy Amen. and everything that he has done for us. Amen. Amen. So right now we certainly want to go before the Lord in prayer. And we want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save. And add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, remember all bereaved families, the Walker family, let's mm -hmm. remember them. Lord, comfort them and anybody else that is uh, going through in that respect. And remember those that are in hospitals and prisons. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, and nursing homes. And, yes. And uh, family members and our loved ones. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And the hospitals, remember those that are going through. Hurricane season mm -hmm. uh, down in Florida and Lord, yes. North Carolina and all of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I see it. It looks like it affects our weather, too. Mm -hmm. it look like it. Yeah, man. So let's, um, let us pray for that. Amen. That it uh, won't be a loss of life, a great loss of life. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought about it that it's good that they can be able to. See the pattern coming and predict it, and yes. warn people, and people leave. Amen. If only if people believe the gospel like that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, uh, any other prayer requests? Yes, pray for Shirley Hammond. Yes. She's in the uh, nursing home on 54th and Peach. Yes. Uh, I went to see her yesterday. I used to work with her at Sterilizer. Uh -huh. And she said, you had been to see her. Yes. So she said, to ask uh, all the saints here to pray for her. She said, if she ever gets out of there, this is where she's coming. Yeah, okay, good, mm -hmm. good. Amen. So yes, we'll certainly pray for her. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, Pastor Ryan Gaines? Remember his brother? Yes. Robert, he's in Robert Florida. In Florida. And so uh, they're kind of a little worried about worried him. About so that. pray for him. Mm -hmm. All right, if there be no other requests, like the church to stand. Thank you, Lord. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and watched over us and kept us even to this very hour. Yes. We continue to pray, Lord, for strength and for grace and for mercy. Yes. Bless each and every request that's been made known to you, Lord. Send forth your healing, send forth your deliverance, and in your encouragement in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord, yeah, you, we Jesus. pray, Lord, that you would bless our Bible study on today. Yes, yes. Father, we send forth an anointing, open up our eyes of understanding, yes, yes. that we may receive with meekness the engrafted word of God you, to the saving of our souls. This we pray in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I want you to turn with me. Uh, over to the book of St. Matthew, St. Matthew chapter number 7, amen, St. Matthew chapter number 7, amen, and uh, uh, tonight uh, we really want to uh, talk about perseverance in prayer, uh, persevering in prayer, and it's good for individuals to, to to have an understanding of, of, of why we have to persevere in prayer. You know, it does something for us. It helps us. It's not that, that God doesn't hear uh, 
our prayers, and it's not that God is not gracious. Mm -hmm. God is a giving God. Mm -hmm. you know, he Amen. wants to give. Yes. Yes. He's bountiful in giving. Mm -hmm. But he realizes that uh, you praying to him does something for you. Amen. It helps you in your growth and your walk with the Lord. Yes. And um, one, one key factor, one key factor in our prayer is, um, uh, I'm, I don't know how I want to say it, my goodness, I have it all in my mind. <laughs> Y'all pray for us, must be getting older. Thank you, Jesus. But does the way I treat you affect the results of my prayers? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Amen. Okay. It does. Definitely. It does. I treat you. Does that re uh, affect the results of my if I mistreat people? Yes. Does that yes. Yeah, is, is, is it him? Yeah. And we all can agree that it is. Yes. And one thing we have to do, we all have to be mindful of that. Sometimes uh, we're not mindful of that. Yeah. And then if we get out of a routine of prayer, then we can lose our contact with God. Mm -hmm. You know, if we, if I stop praying and just start living, uh, the way I think things should go, you know, before you know it, I'll start, I'll stop consulting God. I'll stop reading my Bible. You know, I'll just be going through the motions. You know, so that's a, a major part of prayer. Uh, so you can stay in contact with God and um, uh, know that that God is in control and not you. Right, not right. You. Yeah. And even sure. even in even in fasting, if you get out of the habit of fasting, you get back into the habit of fasting. I believe even that that first day that you get back into the habit, you forget that you want to fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do, you know, because because you're out of the habit. Mm -hmm. You're out of the habit. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's good to be mindful of of the things that the, the Bible says that we should be mindful of. Amen. Mm -hmm. And 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 prayer, it literally helps you to stay mindful yeah. mm -hmm. of the things that be of God. Mm -hmm. It helps you to be a mindful that there is a, a higher being, if you allow me to say it that way. Right. A creator, a savior, mm -hmm. a, a deliverer, mm -hmm. yes. amen. an ultimate power mm -hmm. that that is there to help you. Yes. Right. Amen. That is there to help us. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. That is gracious and merciful. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and wants to be acknowledged. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Spess, won't you move down over here? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's good. Oh, okay. You come closer. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. So we see here then, if we look at St. Matthew then, chapter number 7, mm -hmm. uh, and we want to begin reading at verse number 1, and we know that this Matthew 5, 6, and 7 is the Beatitudes uh, that Jesus taught his disciples, and it's really the foundation of the church. Mm -hmm. And the Beatitudes really mirror the Ten Commandments. That's what he's, that's what he's reinstating in his own way uh, with Matthew 5, 6, and 7. It's really the foundation of the church. Yeah. Amen? The foundation of of the church. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking when I was studying this, um, uh, this particular passage, that uh, it's good to have a foundation. Yes. You know, sure. a good to have a foundation. <coughs> and uh, it reminded me of, of one of the most significant Bible classes that I was at at Greater Bethlehem Temple under Bishop Radcliffe when I first came into the church. And he said, and I'll never forget it, he said on that Wednesday night that, that you new saints um, are in a dangerous place 
He said, because you could go either way, mm -hmm. you know? And he said, if you don't build you a foundation, yes, you'll get blown away. Mm -hmm. And that thing hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. It scared the daylights out of me mm -hmm. because I'm coming out of the world. I'm tired of the world. I knew the world was going to kill me uh, and I didn't want to go back. Mm -hmm. So I took heed mm -hmm. to what he said mm -hmm. uh, and, and started praying started fasting, started reading the word, uh, started uh, obeying the word, if you allow me to say, uh, because I realized that I had to build that foundation before the, for, for the time which is to come. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because every man's work is going to be tried uh, to see what sort it is. And the major factor, if believe me here or not, the major factor of that foundation was prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I know we should stand on the word. We should believe the word. But it was through prayer that God was able to communicate to my heart right. about the word. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that it was through prayer that the oil, if you allow me to say, the anointing yeah. would come and destroy yokes, yeah. destroy yeah. birds. Uh, because the enemy was whooping me down. Uh, the enemy will beat you down. But when you come to God in prayer, uh, he'll lift you up. Uh, he'll open up your mind. The anointing will flow. Uh, thank you, Lord. And things will get broke. So you say, okay, I can, I can make it another day. Uh, uh, you'll see and feel the glory of God. Amen. And not only that. Uh, you get excited about the things that be of God. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Uh, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's good to be excited about the things that be of God. Sure. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My brother? I was going to say, Bishop, also, it was good to be in good company. Yes, absolutely. Somebody that was strong in the Lord already. Yes. And, and you being around those people yes. strengthen you. Yes. Strengthen your faith. Strengthen I, your hope. Yes. Uh, to be to 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 stand. Amen. Be able to stand even in your tests and trials because you had somebody that's already been through that. Yes. Uh, and was helping you along the way. Yes. So so uh, your company keeper is very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll just say it bluntly. Uh, new saints shouldn't be with uh, uh, weak saints. No. <laughs> no, no and, and you you could be in church 30 years but still be weak depending on what you have done. That's, That's right. right. Uh, That's uh, uh, <laughs> here, here we go again. Check the fruit. Yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. Sunday. Are you in the way or in the way? That's it. That's it. My sister. always dropping nuggets and when yes. I first started going to church um, she said she would pray she said ask God to help you endure hardness as a good soldier yes and I would pray that prayer yes and I'm telling you mm -hmm. the things that came against this little house yes but, <laughs> mm, but the way God strengthened me and it built me yes like, like I'm a little Sherman tank. Come on. Woo! <laughs> glory, glory. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, I praise God. Yes, I'm not going to build me up. She said, I'm like Woo! a little Sherman tank. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. God, God will give you that mindset through prayer. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. 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 He'll, he'll put it in your mind. You a warrior. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can endure. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, God will do that for you. Yes, That's what the Bible means. Be not conformed, but be what? Yeah. By the renewing of your mind. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> so let's look there. My God, see, now I'm getting excited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to... Uh, Matthew, and that's another thing. Let me just say this once again. Uh, it's good to partner up uh, with uh, uh, tomorrow coming into the church and even 
even being in uh, if you not just if you've been here a while, mm -hmm. but it's good to have you a praying buddy, mm -hmm. uh, a fasting buddy. Right. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. That's, that's strong. I ain't talking about nobody that's uh, no. uh, a backbiter no. or uh, a gossiper. Right. You know what I mean? I'm talking about somebody that's for Jesus. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 It's good. Amen. My mama used to say, uh, show me your company, I'll show you who you are. That's right. You yeah, know? True and then, you know, I used to always reject it. <laughs> then one day I sat, <laughs> I sat down, I sat down, and I really caught what she was saying because I started examining my homies. And I was yeah. like, man. You know? yeah. <laughs> and I'm doing the same thing they do. Right. You know, so, you know, she got, <laughs> she got me. Check yourself. All right. Matthew chapter number seven. And um, this is unique to, to prayer. Matthew chapter number seven, verse number one. Judge not uh -huh. that ye be not judged. All right. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. Mm -hmm. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. All right. Now, people don't realize this. But this particular scripture is connected to prayer. Mm -hmm. It's connected to prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 this particular judgment that he's talking about here is not the judgment of we should always be assessing things. Whether or not I'm going to get involved in it or I'm not going to get involved with it. Mm -hmm. But this particular judgment here, he's talking about criticism mm -hmm. of others. Yes. Uh, yes. Being critical yes. of others and judging whether or not they're going to go to heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, uh, you become judge and jury. Yes. Uh, and, then, and then putting some type of revenge on the individual for what they've done. Wow. Uh, this is kind of, this is what he's talking about. That, 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 that you are, are the judge and jury and the avenger. Yes. Uh, and when the Bible clearly says, uh, uh, vengeance is mine, mm -hmm. it belongs to God. Yes. Uh, and I, yes, and I will repay. We cannot put ourselves in God's place. Yes. We cannot exact judgment on an individual. So in, and, and here's the kicker. Even if the individual is wrong, uh, and they they are guilty of of the discernment that God has given you concerning the individual. Mm -hmm. Our job is not to to condemn them, even if they're wrong. Right. Our job is to help them. Right. Uh, right. Is Amen. to help them. Amen. Uh, uh, you, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, Our exactly. job is to help because God has given us, all of us here, the ministry of reconciliation, yes. uh, uh, not the ministry right. of condemnation. Yeah, exactly. uh, we don't condemn folks. Uh, we help folks. Right. Amen? Wow. Amen? Uh, my brother? And that just ties in to what you said earlier. What's that? Prayer. Yes. We're supposed to pray one for another. Pray one for another. Make intercession. Huh? How can I how can I hate you and pray for you? Huh? Right. And be earnest about it. Right. Huh? My brother? Oh, and then and then the Lord dropped this on my mind when I was studying this. He said, um, um, if a person is drowning, uh, that's no time. To say, hey, you shouldn't be in that water. What you in that water for? You know you you know you know you can't swim. Huh? Uh, you follow what I'm saying? You drown, you got hit by a car, you bleed to death. You shouldn't have crossed that street. Wow. Uh, what is wrong with you? You dumb, you stupid. Uh, what is that? Uh, that that person don't need to hear that. Uh, that person needs you to call 911. That person needs you to jump in the water if you can swim and rescue them. Uh, if, if I'm dead in my trespasses and sin, I don't need you to criticize me. 
I need you to, to he that is spiritual, yes. huh? restore yes. such a one in the spirit of meekness, doing what? Considering thyself. Uh, that's shoot. That's that's not what? Also be tempted. At least thou also be tempted. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's huge. Mm -hmm. And that theme is throughout the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me tonight? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Now be that first again. Judge not that you be not judged. All right. Now that judgment is undue, uh, a hypocritical judgment and attitude towards others regarding with God, regarding their relationship with God. Judge not that you, what? Be not, be judged. Be not judged. Okay, notice how he said that. Don't put judgment on people, least you be judged. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Read. For with what judgment ye judge. Now what punishment you put on them. Ye shall be judged. And you shall receive that same punishment. Huh? Mm -hmm. Notice be our Father. Our Father <clears throat> who art in heaven. What? Well, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Notice. Forgive us of our what? As we do what? Let's trespass against us. Amen? Huh? So, so I got to literally do unto others as I would have them do unto me. Man. Huh? Ah, mm -hmm. but Pastor, you know that was wicked what they did. Huh? But now, then you gotta ask yourself, if you did it, would you want mercy? For sure. Right. Right. If your family member did it, would you want them to have mercy? Right. right. Huh? Huh? We gotta consider all these things. Right. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So that so that, so that our prayers won't be hindered. Mm -hmm. So in this, in this context, in this scripture, yes. it goes much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? We got to be, we got to be watched. My brother? That's why this level of teaching is so important. So important. Because we were raised judging. Judging! That was a part of our, our philosophy was judging. Yeah. We tell the truth about it. Right. We were judging oh. all the way from 11th Street, uh -huh. all the way up until this teaching right here. My That's God. how I know that the Lord is giving you this word My because we were, we were raised judging. Judging. Yep. And just imagine if we were raised judging, mm -hmm. what position were we in? My, my, my. Oh, my, oh. my, my. Wow. What position were we in? Hindered prayers. Yeah, wow. 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 I was going to say this right before we came. I was telling my wife at home on my way here that, um, you know, growing up, like like Ella said, in the church, not being funny, but it seemed like the administration was so big on disciplining you. Uh huh. It wasn't trying to restore you, just get you over the church right. and beat you. Right. Oh. Beat you and show the world, yeah. show the city. I'm tough on sin. Right. I'm tough on people. That, how did that help somebody? Yeah, that, that, I ain't trying to restore you. We're going to beat you, silence you, and kick you out of the church. Yeah. Wow. Now yeah. I'm going to hell for sure. Now nah, you yeah. didn't help me at all. Yeah. Ain't that something? That's right. Ain't that something? Help me at all? That's that's what me out? What we wow. talking about is real. It's real mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And, and that's what God is big on. Mm -hmm. He's big on reconciliation. Because uh, it's not his will or his desire that any should perish. Uh, am I right? Amen. And you know, I, as once again when I was studying this verse, I went over to the to the chapter where Paul had had uh, was dealt was dealing with the situation in First Corinthians, I believe it is, and the individual had uh, uh, taken his father's wife. Right. Amen. And Paul said. Y'all shouldn't glory in that, you know. But I've, I've judged this situation already. Amen. That no, no, it's in that verse. I wish I could find it. But he said, he said, I've judged it already that you should put him out uh, for the to turn him over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh. Then the same verse it says, so that his spirit can be saved. Huh? Uh, so, so the whole. The whole thing about Paul judging that situation was for salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, so that the individual 
could be saved. Right. And later on in, that, in, in those chapters, he said that the individual repented, and then Paul said, restore such a one. Mm -hmm. uh, in the spirit of meekness. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, so that should be the, 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 the end of judgment. Yeah. Uh, uh, as far as church discipline. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that people can be saved, not lost. Right. Yes. It's not about whooping them and putting them out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about saving the souls. Mm -hmm. uh, restoring the souls. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, salvation is about restoration. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. That he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That whosoever what believeth in him should not what? Perish but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My brother? Bishop, we were at the hey! We were putting people on the back row. Uh -huh. But we should have been putting them on the front row. Absolutely. Yeah. Come to the altar. Uh -huh. Come to the altar. Let's go to the altar. The back row. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Read for with what judgment you judge, you uh -huh. shall be judged. Amen. For with judgment you judge, it shall you shall be what? Judged. Judged. And that simply means that 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 if I put a certain judgment on somebody, amen, because I, that's not my place, mm -hmm. um, that judgment is gonna come back to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's better, God says, do unto others. As you would have them do unto you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm, I don't mean to be stepping up in y'all face. But y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And that's scripture. That's throughout the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Read. What verse you in? Bishop, I was just going to say. Go ahead. If God already knew that we were going to judge one another, that's why this is here. Right. Woo! If he hadn't, wow. if, if, if wow. we continue to do that. There would be nobody in the church. Yes, yes. There would be right. nobody here. Yes. There wouldn't be no church. There would be yes. no bride to send yes. Jesus after. Yes. So he already knew we were going to judge one another. He knew it. He That's why he it's it. word. Is right. Here. Amen. Wow. See, now, she hit on a, a major point about the scriptures. Wow. The reason why scriptures are written is to help us because God already knows yes. that this is going to become an issue. Uh, so he sends us his word to straighten it out mm -hmm. when, when it occurs, yeah. when it happens. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a preemptive strike that, that, that you can get it before it does happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can tune your mind and say, well, when, this, it, when I'm faced with this, this is how I'm going to react right. according to the word. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? Amen? And every... Every every chapter in the Bible that deals with an issue is an issue that that needed to be dealt with. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So why do you say that, brother Pastor? I say that that when you read the word, think it not strange mm -hmm. that it's talking about it. It may not be you at the moment, mm -hmm. but it's somebody else mm -hmm. uh, that is that 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 needs to hear it. Uh, but there's, rest assured, there's some things in this word that you need to hear. Uh, because we're all guilty. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. And I thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you can't look down on me, I can't look down on you. We all in the same boat. Uh, uh, we all need help. We all need Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God concluded all under sin. Uh, that all might receive Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My brother. Just hey. want, I just want to piggyback on what she said. Yes. Uh, God knowing the end from the beginning. Uh -huh. He knew. He knew what humans was going to be capable of. Yes. And Peter said it best. He said, the long suffering of God is to salvation. Yep, it's salvation. God suffers <laughs> uh, so much with the entire world because of our sins. Oh, yes. And, and our faults and our <laughs> uh, flaws. 
that he'll suffer us yes. a long time yes. to give us a chance to get it right. Yeah. Absolutely. And that is salvation. Yes. God gives us time and chance, mm -hmm. and it happens to us all. Mm -hmm. Amen. To get things right, to grow in Him, to mature in Him. Mm -hmm. So, if not God, if God is doing that, how much more should we do that with one another? Sure. Mm -hmm. huh? I realize God is working with you, mm -hmm. huh? and and why not I eat off the fruit of long suffering mm -hmm. <laughs> and and work with you too? Amen. Amen. That's why he gives us the spirit of long suffering, mm -hmm. fruit, right. so that we can work with others. Yes. Uh, it's yes. not like and that. And that's another reason why uh, it's good to know your word. Mm -hmm. That that the reason why that is there, why he gives you long suffering, not just for yourself, but so that you can suffer long with somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, because because God knows that it takes time. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this thing isn't done overnight. Uh, it takes time. Patience. Amen. Patience, endurance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so wait on your brother. Mm -hmm. Wait on your sister. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. The one thing that, that, that I would love, um, and I don't know if I've really talked this to my children as much as I should have, but you know, uh, help your brother, help your sister. Mm -hmm. You know, then Monique, did I teach y'all that? For, for the most part, I didn't really have her then, because she, she said for the most part. <laughs> but that's that's a good thing, yeah. huh? Help your brother, help your sister, yeah. amen. And I don't, I didn't really realize the effect of that. I was watching one brother go out the door, and his little sister was trailing, and he didn't hold the door for her. And, I, and the Lord taught me a whole Bible class on that. Wow. You know, oh, hold the door. <laughs> uh, uh, we should be holding the door for one another. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, we serve God through one another. Yes, absolutely. We really do. We do. People don't realize that. Yeah. When I do something for you, I'm yes. serving God. Yeah. When Amen. I help you out, I'm serving God. Yeah. When I help her out, I'm worshiping God. Yeah. You know, every, right. we help, but we serve God so through one another. One another. One another. Yeah. One another. My brother. Is that why the scripture said, um, lay hands suddenly on no man? Oh, that, that means to anoint uh, oh. people for office. All right. You know, examine. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, this is good. But what was your point, though? What was you going with that? Wow. You know, we so quick to, to grab folks and start dealing with judging them. You know, yeah. you don't even know the situation. You just heard something and you run it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, right. even, don't touch that. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Yes. And <laughs> even, even, I'm going to piggyback on what he said. Even if it was 100% true, mm -hmm. yeah. you got the evidence. You watched the video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, let him go. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't spread it. Right. Uh, but that's, that's what I would want, and that's what God would want. Huh? And that's how he's glorified. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My brother. Yeah, I want to uh, get back to what Elder said. Like, you know, we serve God through one another mm -hmm. by by working with one another. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, Jesus said, if you if you deny me, you deny him that sent me. Yes. So, absolutely. So if I deny my sister or my brother, I'm denying the one that sent them. Yep, absolutely. That's what he said. That's what he said. All right, read. What verse we in? Two. All right, read. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Uh huh. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, uh -huh. but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? All right. <laughs> Jesus, he bring it home. Hey. He bring it home. Yeah. You know, now you got a bunch of problems. <laughs> huh? And now you trying to correct somebody that's got a little problem. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and we do that for various reasons. You know, one reason is we, we like to think that we're above everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, that I, 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 I caught you, I can shine the light on you mm -hmm. to take the light off of me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, it's, it's a bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but notice what Jesus said. Read that again. 
And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, uh -huh. but considers not the beam that is in thine own eye? And you know, when I, when I read this scripture, you know, the scenario that, that comes up to me is, y'all know this story, very familiar story. When, when, when Jesus was teaching and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they brought a lady to Jesus caught in the very act of mm -hmm. adultery. Huh? Y'all yeah. know the story. Yeah. Huh? And he said, Lord, Master, you know, we caught this lady uh, in the very act of adultery. What judges thou? Mm -hmm. You know, they're trying to, trying to put a, a thing on Jesus. Yeah. Huh? And then Jesus, y'all know what he did. He stooped down and he began to write some stuff in the dirt. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like, he probably wrote fornicator, <laughs> liar, thief. Yeah. Uh, sinner, uh, and all of that. Yeah. Uh, and then they probably looked and saw what Jesus wrote, and the Bible said they walked away one by one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, saw, they saw themselves. Uh, they saw themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw the beam mm -hmm. in yeah. their own eye. Mm -hmm. uh, while they was trying to bring somebody to Jesus mm -hmm. uh, because they were guilty, mm -hmm. uh, they forgot that they themselves were guilty. And why didn't they bring the man? Where was the man? Uh, uh, he was I'm just as guilty. He, wasn't there by well, he probably had some stuff on them. So. <laughs> right? Uh, so yeah. you, know, uh, you know, we got to watch out for that. Huh? And then when it was done, now notice, 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 notice. When it was done, yep. Jesus, what did he say? Where are thy accusers? Yep, yeah. woman, where are thy accusers? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Then, because there were no accusers, notice what Jesus said. Do what? Go in peace, sin no more. She was guilty. Mm -hmm. huh? yep. They don't condemn you, neither do I. They were guilty. Huh? Jesus was given a grace for restoration. Huh? Go in peace. I'm going peace and no more. Don't worry about it. Don't, huh? don't worry about it. Don't huh? worry about it. Right. Because because the whole plan was what? For her to be saved. Yes. Right. Yes. Huh? They don't want to kill us. Don't hurt them. Aren't we not to be like Jesus? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's right. And and the reason why he didn't condemn her, because it wasn't time for condemnation. Huh? It was time for salvation. It still is time for salvation. Yes. It's not time for condemnation. Yes. Amen? Amen? It's not time for judgment right now. That's why we're not dead. Yes. <laughs> Even since we cried out, Abba Father, if, it, if you were one and done, nobody would be here. Amen. <laughs> Come on! Come on! And so how much more should we love all our brother and sister? We in the same boat. Yes, huh? You got people in the natural will run into a burning building to try to save somebody out of that uh, burning building. How much more should we help our brothers and our sisters come out? Huh? Uh, build them up. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Huh? That's the way of God. Amen? Yes, it is. That's the way of the Lord. Yes, it it's not to chop somebody down at the knees. No. It's not to talk about them. No. It's not to uh, 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 gossip about them. No. Hey, girl. You know? <laughs> hey, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, no! Know. It's to build each other up. Yeah. Uh, was y'all raised on the adage, if you can't say nothing nice about somebody, don't say yeah. nothing at all? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That ain't Bible, but it should be. No, no. Oh, Lord, forgive me. I don't want to add to the Bible. Right I don't want to add to the Bible. <laughs> uh, don't add to but, 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 but that's a good principle. Yes, it is. Yes. Huh? Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Take six months, mind your own business, and use the other six months to leave everybody else business alone. Yeah. Then you come. Mm -hmm. Bishop, mm -hmm. if Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world, right. what gives us the authority? None. All power was given to Jesus. To Jesus. But to we Jesus. condemn folks. Right. We I come to church. <laughs> we should be helping. We should be restoring. Yes. Uh, 
Amen. Now, it ain't, it ain't about, don't get me wrong, it ain't about, I see my brother doing some wicked stuff here. Correct. It ain't about me just turning my head. No. It's about me saying, hey, bro, right. you know, what's going on here? Right. How can I help you? Right. You know, I seen you do what you was doing. You know, yeah, you know that ain't right. That ain't good. You know, I'm going to take you to the pastor if you don't get it straightened out. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's to hold people accountable. Huh? And it ain't about, I'm going to mind my own business. Huh? Are you not your brother's keeper? Right. Huh? Huh? Amen. That's right. Huh? Come on. That's right. Come on. Look at the good Samaritan. Bottom man, hurt, wounded. Huh? Everybody else left him. Mm -hmm. Good Samaritan went and picked him up, put him on his beast, took him to the inn, paid for his bill, and said, hey, if, he over, if, he, if it's over this bill, let me know when I come back. I'm coming back to see about it. Uh, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay it all. Wow. Uh, you follow me? That's, that's love there. Wow. How can you say you love me and leave me bleeding and stabbed up? No, the priest did. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> mother cast did. Sister Jackie, hey! Wow. Usually, when you see something and you see your brother or your sister in a fall, it's not for you to exploit them, but it's to take them to Jesus to get them excused. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Now she hit on another point, shall uh, She probably she probably peeked at my notes. <laughs> uh, um, that's the whole part. If God has given you and entrusted you, trusted you, you, and whomever with the spirit of discernment, yes. uh, if he's given you that gift uh, and you discern some things that are going on, mm -hmm. it's not for you to exploit the individual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's given to you so you can help the individual. Right. Yep. Amen? Yes. Uh, come on here. Yes, yes. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, this is good stuff. It's true. My brother? It's true. My discernment shows me that I was to Sylvester. Yeah. Sylvester. Yeah. He's we got a problem. He's doing something. Putting the light on people. Shouldn't I get the beam out of my sure heart before I step up and say, don't kill? Yes. Um, That's what the scripture, we just yes. read that scripture. Yes. Um, I should get, get me clean. Yeah. But what, 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 he's, what he's saying is, what you, you're right, what you're saying but also what he's saying is, uh, he's saying, don't be them. Because you got your own issues. That's right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I can help somebody with, if I got issues, I can still help somebody. But, but, but I'm not to, to put my finger at it right. Uh, right. while I'm dealing with my own stuff. Right. Uh, because right. consider yourself. Right. <laughs> At least you also be tempted. Right. Sure. Amen. I think a most, uh, another important part is the end of that verse where it says, you know, take the mode out your own eyes so that you can see clearly. Yes. See, when we got things going on within us, you know, it's, it, we can be seeing things not too clear when it comes to somebody mm -hmm. else. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point because we, can be seen, we, yeah, we, we, we have a tendency to want to cover up our stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, make excuses for our stuff. Uh, you follow me? Yeah. Justify our stuff. Yeah. I know why I did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 you know God. Here we here we God knows my heart. Yeah. Uh, and I'm on. You can't. Yeah. Uh, and and you know I'm gonna get it right. But that individual. Uh, like, like, like the priest, <laughs> like, right. like the Pharisee, when he was at the altar. God, I thank you, uh, but, I, but I'm not like that sinner. Uh, I thank you, but I'm not like him. Uh, uh, but Jesus, Jesus said, you know, which one went home justified? Uh, so we got, we can't be, I'm not like that one. Yeah. Uh, you like just that. like him. You're just, doing, you're just doing different things, but yeah. you just like him. Yeah, pride. Mm -hmm. yeah. I fast, I fast, I give my tithes, I give my offering. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Mm. But I'm not like that sin. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh? Wow. No, no, no. Amen. 
Amen. We all in the same boat. We all try to get the same boat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and I like that scripture. They say the rich and the poor are equal in the grave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, they both ain't got no worldly stuff. You know, right. in, in, that, in that respect. Why don't we get we need help? Why don't we get that concept as a church, as a, as the body of Christ? I mean, we all supposed to be spiritual beings. Yeah. We all supposed to have a certain amount of, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, uh, discernment yeah. about God's word, but we don't get it. Because two things, two things to answer this question. We have an adversary, the devil, that works off of our feelings and emotions that we don't overcome. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Mm -hmm. The enemy works with our inadequacies that we don't overcome. Uh, mm -hmm. And if we overcame it, and if we applied what the scripture said to all of our lifestyle, we'd overcome it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what? What I found out about walking with the Lord, if you know the word, just know the word on a superficial level, and you apply it, you will still get victory without being deep in it. You ain't got to know totally why you're doing it. Uh, you just know that the word says to do it, right. and then shall you know if you follow on to know the Lord. Right. Uh, just do it. That's true. Uh, and, and God will give you understanding. Uh, to be, uh, the scripture says to, 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 to know to do good and do it not to him is what? Sin. Uh, it ain't about me knowing why I got to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the why will come later. Mm -hmm. yes. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Trust God. Yes. Believe God. That's why prayer is so important. Mm -hmm. Because God can deal with your heart. Uh, uh, God can help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He can anoint you. Uh, he can humble you. Uh, he may not put all the pieces together for you at that time, but he'll put enough together so that you can overcome. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited. Thank you, Jesus. My sister, hold on, let me just say, I ain't telling you something uh, uh, out of just book knowledge. I'm telling you something I know. Uh, I experienced this. Personal, Personal experience. Uh, go ahead. Without prayer, you have a very hard day, yeah. and you're rebellious. Very. But with prayer, yes. God takes it and breaks up all that fallow ground yes. and, and, and gives you a soft heart, yes. one that he can deal with. Yes. But a person that don't pray, wow. you, you, you'll always have a hard day. Always. You'll always have a hard time trying to do like God said do. Yes, yes. Mm. Tiffany spoken. All right, let's move on. Mm. Verse 4. Uh -huh. For how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, uh -huh. and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Uh -huh. Thou hypocrite, <laughs> first cast talking. out the beam out of thine own eye, Jesus. and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. <laughs> he said, You're a hypocrite. Uh, thou hypocrite. Amen. <laughs> So you know he wasn't playing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Tone change. Yeah. Oh, the father uh, uh, Hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. We already know what a hypocrite is. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Pretend. A pretender. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Ungodly person. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. Give not that which is holy unto the dog. Now, now, I used to think that that was totally separate uh, from these verses. But it, 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 it coincides with these verses mm -hmm. because he called him a hypocrite, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, in Jewish times, he said, give not that which is holy to the dogs. The dogs were basically scavengers. They weren't house pets mm -hmm. like we have today. Right. They, right. I, they're not my family member like we call them today. Thank you, Lord. They, they, they were scavengers. Yeah. 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 Amen. And they yeah. ate and did everything. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And the pigs are scavengers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The swine. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And what, what Jesus 
is saying is, is that if the hypocrite uh, doesn't receive this word, uh, uh, then he's like a dog. He's like the swine. Uh, if you reject the word of God, the teaching of the Lord, you like a swine. Yes. You like a dog. Yes. Unclean. Jesus was hit. Mm -hmm. huh? He was tough. Man. I, no wonder one time they wanted to grab him and throw him off a cliff. Head wrong, the Bible said. Wow. Huh? Uh, because he was telling them no. Yeah. He was throwing them. Huh? Trying to help him. Help him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bro, yeah. so read. What do you say? Give not that which is holy unto the dog. Now that word is holy. This teaching that you're receiving tonight mm -hmm. is holy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't reject it. Mm -hmm. Don't be like a dog. Mm -hmm. Don't be like a swine. Y'all yeah. forgive me. Y'all forgive me. Mm -hmm. I still love it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, don't be that. No. Mm -hmm. All right, read. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine. Uh huh. Lest they trample them under their feet uh -huh. and turn again and rend you. And get you. Read. Ask. Now, here we go. Now, the reason why he said all of that is because all of that is connected to prayer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. All of that is connected to persevering in prayer. Mm -hmm. Now, he's teaching uh, from that verse number one and seven, he's, he's setting up the stage to teach us how to pray. Mm -hmm. Because prayer is so essential. Yes. And I can't be a, a, a good praying individual being a hypocrite. That's right. no. Amen. That's right. Hating my brother and sister. Mm -hmm. when, I'm, when I'm commanded to, to be an intercessor yes, sir. Uh, for my brother and sister. Amen. 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 And, and Jesus is teaching this so that our prayers are not hindered. Amen? Mm -hmm. It's important for your prayer to get through and be answered. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Amen. I, I don't want to be wasting my time praying because I hate my brother. Mm -hmm. I hate my sister. Right. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. huh? Am I right? Huh? <laughs> Before, in the Old Testament, you could pray, Lord, kill my enemy. Wipe them out. David prayed that kind of oh, prayer. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Huh? Yes, he did. Lord, kill them before they kill me. Mm -hmm. We can't pray like that. Because they believed in an eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. Oh, two for a two. Oh, it was law. according to the law. Oh, Thank you. Oh, wow. Amen? Amen. But, but Jesus came. He established a new law. Mm -hmm. huh? Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mm -hmm. huh? mind, uh, might. And love thy neighbor yes, as thyself. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all want me to that? Yeah. So, see, see, now what we just said is huge. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. That's why Jesus taught Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Because he was reestablishing the true intent of the, of the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Y'all going to catch that later. <laughs> that, uh, it was it was said uh, preaching the beatitudes. Yes. To let this attitude be in you. Be in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When he was teaching, he wanted that to be in them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. All right. Read. What verse is? Verse uh, seven. All right. Read. 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 Read, read seven. Ask. Ask, and it shall be given you. And it shall be given you. Read. Seek. Yes. And you shall find. Yes. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Now Jesus here, he's talking about persevering in prayer. Mm -hmm. Ask, seek, and knock. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ask, seek, and knock. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's telling the people. Uh, ask when you in prayer ask make your request known unto the Lord yes. right yes. and what we have to remember is and without without going deep down into all the scripture here what we got to remember is that 
when, as soon as you ask uh, 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 God blesses you he blesses your ass mm -hmm. huh? but that doesn't mean that we receive it at that time mm -hmm. huh? because some things that we ask for we receive it down the road. Amen. Right. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Lord. I remember plainly asking God for a nice house. Yes. Uh, I was asked, I was praying, God, you see, I got all these children. I need a high, nice house. But yes. he probably knew if they had a nice house, they'd probably tear it up. Yes. <laughs> I used to tell my children, y'all tear up the devil. <laughs> huh? but, but, but he heard me. Yes. 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 He heard me. Uh, and he blessed me, mm -hmm. yeah. but I had to wait until mm -hmm. uh, I received it. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And that prayer was 20 years in the making. Yes. Uh, yes. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Uh, but through the 20 years in the making, I still had to persevere. Yes. Uh, believe God. Yes. Trust that God would do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that perseverance, believing, and trusting God, and that was building character. Yes, yes. Uh, that was developing what patience. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That was that was also helping my mind. Yes. Uh, when you pray and ask God for something, uh, and 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 uh, you may not have the right motive for why you want it. Right. Huh? You may not be in a position for, for you to receive it. Right. Huh? Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. if, if little Jaden asked his daddy for a Corvette, I'm sure he wouldn't give him a Corvette now. Mm -hmm. huh? He'd be like, son, you better, better go play with your toys. <laughs> you ain't ready for that. Ready for huh? that. No. Huh? Right. You follow me? Why? Wow, because he know that it'll destroy him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It'll kill him. Yeah. Amen. But 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 once he grows up and matures, yeah. huh? Show himself responsible. Come on, I'm teaching up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Huh? You gotta grow up. Yeah. Huh? You gotta show yourself responsible, right. mature yeah. to receive some things from God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, Beautiful. come on, my brother. <laughs> yeah, Bishop, and you're right about that. God is not going to give us nothing. He's not going to give us anything until we're spiritually ready for it. Ready for it. Because he don't want us to lose. God don't want us to lose anything he blesses us. That's with. it. So that's why he waits till we till we spiritually ready. Right. He sure. knows. Yeah. 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 That, and I like how he said uh, that God waits till you ready because he alone knows when you're ready. Huh? And, and the scripture, when we get done reading it, it'll tell you, uh, God is, he doesn't want to withhold any good thing from you. Huh? Uh, but some things we ask for and we're not ready for them yet. Huh? So we got to go then, here we go, we got to go through the seeking process. Huh? In the seeking process, that's where we actually seek the will of God. God is able to, to, to weed out the negativity in our heart. Huh? Come on here, somebody. Huh? So, that, so that he can prepare you for the blessing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Y'all right. understand what I'm saying? Amen. That's what the seeking process is for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, go over. Hold that. Hold that. Go over to the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter number four. Hallelujah. And and I like it. The ask, the knock, the ask, the, ask, the seek, and the knock are all verbs, present tense. Huh? So it's active. <laughs> it's active. Uh, prayer is an active thing with God. Uh, 
It's not a past tense with God. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. And, and in your prayer, God prepares you for the blessing. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 29. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God. Now notice, thou shalt do what? Seek the what Lord. What does that mean? Seek the Lord. Call on him. Call on him. Cry after him. Hunt for him. Look for him. Hunt for him. Search for him. Huh? Seek the Lord. Now how does he want you to do it? Read. Thou shalt find him. Uh -huh. Seek if, him. You'll find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart. Now circle that one word there. If, two letter word, if, huh? If you do, this will happen. If you don't, it won't happen. Huge. Isn't that huge? If. Huh? Huh? Biggest little word in the dictionary. Biggest little word. If. So if you seek him with what? All your now what does that mean? All your heart. Everything. It, your whole being. All, all of your desires. All of your desires. Mm -hmm. Your affections. Your being. Mm -hmm. Emotions. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you got to put your all into it. Mm -hmm. yes. With God, it's all or nothing, isn't it? Right. I like that. I got a, I got a, I got a YouTube guy I watch. He say, all or nothing, baby. Uh, and I like it when he said, little boy, does he say that. He be talking about his food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but 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 it's all or nothing. Yep, you're all in. Huh? You got to be all in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, God don't want to bless his enemies. No. <laughs> no. Huh? He'll be, he'll be good to them, but he don't want to bless them. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. They'll turn on them. Mm -hmm. Didn't they, isn't that what the scripture said? Right. They'll, they'll turn on them. Mm -hmm. uh, we just read that. Mm -hmm. Turn them like dogs mm -hmm. and pigs. Yeah. Trample them under feet. Yeah. Huh? God doesn't want to strengthen the hand of the wicked. He, huh? he wants you to be all in. Man. Man. Huh? Seek him with all your heart. Good, and all thy soul. All your soul. So, so this is good. This is a good teaching moment. Good teaching moment here. Whenever you see heart and soul together, that, that heart refers to your emotions, your feelings, your affections, right? And that soul there refers to your whole being, right? Now, when you see that word, just heart, then it means your affections, emotions, and your whole being. If you see the word just soul, it means your affections and, and, and soul and whole being. But when you see them separately, he's making a distinction. Huh? Hallelujah. He's trying to make it clear. He's trying to make it plain. Huh? Yeah. Because what did James say uh, about my affections and emotions? He said, you, you ask and you have not because you want to consume it upon oh, your what? Oh, Own lust, your evil desires. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I'm praying to God, He's weighing all that out. Huh? You may be praying for a good thing. Huh? Lord, bless you to be a pastor. Huh? Lord, bless you to be a pastor. Uh, but what's, what's your... <laughs> I knew that would get you off. Huh? But what's your motive? You just looking for the tide in the offering? Huh? Huh? You know what? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Can I be honest? Uh, Y'all know I want a desire to sing. Amen. But my, my desire is wrong. I want to sing so I can just sing and be melodious and have everybody hear what I'm singing. You know what I'm saying? But that's the wrong thing. I should be wanting to sing for the glory of God. Uh, you follow me? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> so, so guess what? I can't sing. I guess make a joyful noise uh, until I get it right. Till I, till I get there and say, Lord, I just want to sing just for you, uh, 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 for your glory. Now, I do that in the bathroom. <laughs> but you in the book, though. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Wrong mode, Wrong mode, 
got to have the right motive. Why do you want that car? Huh? Why do you want that house? Huh? So you, so other people can see you, come visit you. Huh? Why do you want to drive that nice car? So everybody can say, look at her, look at him. Huh? What's your motive? Now, if you stick with God in prayer, huh? Uh, God can redefine that motive so you can get the house for the right motive. So you can get the car for the right motive. If you seek him with your whole heart. Come on here. Go ahead, brother. Maybe that's why you can't sing. Uh-huh. But you can preach and teach. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. What a glory to God's will. Yeah, absolutely. Not your will, but God's will. Absolutely. Yeah. And you do it well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and you know, you know, see, see, now he brings up a good point. This is good Bible study. This is self-disclosure. Yeah. When when before I preach or before I, I get up to teach, I say, Lord, use me to feed the people. Yes, huh? And if you're in ministry, you gotta love the people. Yeah. Huh? Exactly. You gotta love the people. Be willing to make the sacrifice. Yeah. For the people. Yes, and that means give up something. Yes, sure. huh? That you value. You help huh? To help us. Yes. I love the people. Yes, I'd give you the shirt off my back if you asked me. Yes, huh? <laughs> huh? I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't care. Why? Because I love you. Right. Yes, huh? Mm-hmm. I do the same thing. That's right. You do the same thing. I give away stuff all the time. All the time. And I mean, and it, it, it's nothing. It's nothing but stuff. I know it. I, you know, I'm from hey, You want it? All right. Sure. No, no. Don't get me wrong. First lady in here. Sometimes I do that. She said, "Why you do that?" Yeah. You know, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not that she, not that she don't want me to do it, but you know she's just like, why you do that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Huh? Mm-hmm. I love the people. Yeah. I love the people. My brother. But anything that you're seeking God for, that is of spiritual growth. Come on. God's going to give it to you. Go give it to you. Go give it to you. But it's got to be of spiritual growth. Don't give it to you. Yeah. And all the other little things, the fringe benefits of the house and the cars, he'll, get, he'll add that. Yep. Yes. As long as your heart is towards him yes. and his doings, he'll give it to you. He yes. won't withhold that. Now notice. Go ahead. You done? I'm done. Now notice. He said he'll give that to you. Yeah. Notice the scripture. Seek ye first. Huh? The kingdom of you gotta prioritize him first. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. Seek him first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the right motive. Mm-hmm. Huh? And and sometimes my point is when we're seeking God or we're praying, we're asking him, he wants us to seek him to persevere. That'll help us to get the right motive. Mm-hmm. Amen? Amen. That'll purify our hearts. That'll put us in right position. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's necessary. Mm -hmm. Uh, That'll build your relationship with God. Uh, That'll help you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My brother? Yeah, now that reminds me of me and you talking. uh, You know, because people think something's wrong with me. I told us, I ain't never asked God for nothing. Um... Tangible or, or nothing, a house. Or I, I ain't never asked God for none of that. I uh-huh. said the only thing I ever asked God for was spiritual things. Mm-hmm. Lord, cleanse me, you know, yeah. renew me, strengthen me, yeah. you know, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. yeah. So that's that's the only thing I that for me. Yeah, well, you can ask him for both. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you can ask God for both. He wants to bless you. Yes, yeah. Amen. Yeah. He yeah. knows you have need of these things. Right. Both spiritual and natural. Didn't he say in the word that I've, I've given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness? Everything. Amen. But but God wants you to be ready. Yes, yes. <laughs> he don't want to give you nothing to destroy you. Amen. Him being the good father, hallelujah, don't want to give 
you a stone or a serpent that's going to hurt you. He want to give you that which is good. Amen. That will bless you. Yes. Dick and Fields. Amen. Oh, this is good Bible study. Sometimes that, that clean my whole house up and stuff. Uh huh. I can't find some of my keys or something. Yeah. Oh, man. I tear my whole house up and look for yeah, it. Cool. I'm like, oh, I just cleaned it up. But, but you know, <laughs> when you're seeking God, you should have that type of mentality. Yes. Perseverance. You know, uh, uh, yes. don't worry about it. Thing. You know, whatever whatever you have to do to find him, you, you do it. Do it. Mm. Do it. Perseverance. Yes. And just because I asked one time, don't think that that's over. Mm -hmm. uh, God wants you to ask multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Because that what that does, it builds a relationship between you and him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it gives you the, the ability to trust God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And and ask with urgency, yeah. huh? expectation mm -hmm. that so then when he blesses you, you all excited about it. Yeah. Huh? You thankful for it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't be like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Don't play huh? with urgency. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh, play with some urgency. Pray with some urgency. Uh, with some expectation. Uh, I expect it. I'm seeking it. And then when he blesses you with it, you you that builds even a more trustful relationship. <laughs> my sister, I mean my brother. Bishop, there's so many examples in the Bible that God gives us that we can bank on his word. Yes. The woman that went to the unjust judge. Yes. Avenge Persistence. Me of, persistence. Yes. Avenge me and my adversary. Yes. To the point where she wearied the judge. Yes. He made a statement, I don't fear God nor regard man. Uh -huh. But this woman wearies me. Yes. Give her what she wants. Give her what she wants. That's what God wants us to do. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. He wants us to stay in his face. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Not that he can't do it, mm -hmm. yeah. but, but because of the benefit that it is for you. Right. Remember I said in the earlier part of the Bible study, if we don't pray, we, we will forget about God. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start living life on our own mm -hmm. uh, without God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God does not want that. Uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God wants you to be in a relationship with him. Amen. Uh, and he knows uh, that, 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 uh, how, I'm going to say this, and, and I'm going to say this, uh, not to our shame, but to who we are. God knows how important stuff is to us. Uh, he knows that. Uh, you may say, uh, uh, it don't really matter to me. Uh, you lie. Uh, it's not matter to you. Let me take away your house, take away your car, take away your job, take away your clothes, and see what, what you be saying. Uh, uh, put you on an island by yourself. Uh, what you going to be saying? You going to want some stuff. Uh, then, then you become the greatest prayer in the world. Uh, Lord, send me. Deliver me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Uh, God knows that that's a motivator for us. So he uses it to his advantage. He uses it to his glory. Not manipulation, because God don't have to manipulate nothing. He's sovereign. He's God all by himself. Uh, hey, hey. Hallelujah. But he sees the advantage of it for you. Yes. Amen. <laughs> wow. Huh? Amen. That's why he told the children of Israel, when you get over to the land of milk and honey, the land of promise, where you live in houses that you didn't build, you eating off of fields that you didn't plant, don't forget about me. Remember, the word is written. Huh? Yes, to solve a problem. Yes, huh? 
Uh, come on here, somebody. Uh, and the problem is, once we become fat, uh, we'll forget about our God. Don't, don't get so caught up with the blessing that you forget about the blesser. That's right. That's right. That's good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm. Rob, you got your hand up? Oh, I didn't see that, Doc. You got great hand. Okay. No, no it's just a question about that. Uh, but it, it is this, this Bible class is kind of in a sense to that. Uh, time is winding up. We are supposed to are supposed to look at us and see Christ. So that does mean we need to look at That does mean we need to be merciful. We need to show we have to demonstrate and produce those fruits. And it's like that's what you should be seeking after. That's what you should be desiring. Those are the things that uh the Lord is gonna give you freely. I, I think I me and my wife were just talking the other night about wisdom. I think that's something. <laughs> that is what's shaking and moving the world. I mean, yeah, yeah cause you got a nice car that's cool. You know, I got a nice house, that's cool. But those things burn down. Those are yeah. Those, those, those things burn yeah. down. Too great. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take your wisdom. Thank you. Come on, give God the praise. Mm -hmm. um, what he said then, it brings us to the next to the next scripture. Right, go over to 1 John chapter number 5. And when you start to pray these things, mm -hmm. <laughs> his will, his wisdom, his knowledge. Lord, help me have mercy on, on, on Brother Patrick, Elder Patrick. And so that, so that so you, God, can have mercy on me. Amen. 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 Uh, let me, help me to love. Yeah. Uh, even though they did me dirty. Huh? Bishop, you know what I found <laughs> out in my 70 something years on this earth? Uh, 70 something. Okay. Go ahead, I'll sign. <laughs> The people that have the least on this earth, yes. they have more peace, uh -huh. yes. they have more joy. Yeah, that's true. They don't have a whole lot. Uh -huh. But what they have, uh -huh. they are shared with anybody. Yes. They appreciate it. Yes. They give blessings to God every time, all the time. Wow. I mean, you if you just look so around true. and watch it and see. Mm -hmm. but yeah. th those are the happiest people in the world. Thank you, they don't have any worries. They don't that's worry true. about anything. You know, they don't have the finest car. They don't have the finest house. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they, what they have, they share it with everybody. Amen. And they're just so grateful for it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, I sat back and I look at them and I'm like, you know, them people, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the outside through the house here. Yeah. You know, but yeah. th that don't matter. It don't matter. It don't because matter. When, you, when you set your affection on God, all this other stuff fades away. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. You yeah. realize that it's temporal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just it's, stuff. It's just stuff. Yeah. Now, God knows you need this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you need a house. Mm -hmm. you, you need that. But don't make that uh, your love. Right. Don't make that right. your God. Right. Don't make that your idol. Right. 
Amen. Y'all with me? That's, that's what God is after. Don't put no other God before me. Huh? Don't, don't bow down to any graven images. Amen. Uh, seek me first. All right. Where we at? Oh, uh, Sister Connie. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's what Perspective. Perspective. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that what Jesus did, they got upset with it, but he ate with publican and sinners. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what yes I mean? he did. Yeah. And he, he, he did that. He fellowship. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. They gave it to him. Yeah. You know, this 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 Bible study, if we receive it, it's really transcendent. Yeah. Trans, what's the word? Transcendent. Transcendent. There you go. That's mm -hmm. the word. Uh, what I mean by that is that if you receive this, you're actually sitting in a heavenly place yes. <laughs> with Christ Jesus. Sure. If you receive this Bible study on tonight, what the real purpose of life is, mm -hmm. you're sitting. Uh, in heavenly places, yes. uh, desiring the spiritual things, mm -hmm. yes. The, yes. The, the love, the grace, the mercy, mm -hmm. the, the, the things that be of God, the long suffering, the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And, and being, being wanting to share, mm -hmm. and wanting to help, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to love, yeah. regardless of if the individual did anything to you. Right. Right. Touch not my anointing, do my proper note. That's what David said. When Saul was trying to kill him. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is transcendent. Mm -hmm. Let's say that word again. Transcendent. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to get it one day. Uh, but it is. It elevates you. Yeah. It elevates your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, don't y'all feel elevated? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Jesus said this. You are clean through the words which I have spoken to you. You're cleaner tonight than when you first walked in. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hearing the words of Job. Ah. Lord give it. Yes. And Lord take it away. Yes. Bless it. But Lord, let me have your spirit. Yes. That's the most important thing that we can we can ask for now. Yes. Mm -hmm. None of this other, I'm listening to Deacon Daniels. Yes. The only thing that really matters is that just don't take your spirit. Right. Ha! Ah. Woo! That's it. That's another level. Yeah. Huh? That's another level. Lord, you can have everything, take everything, but don't take your spirit from me. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. You want, to, you want to be pleasing in the Lord. Shabo! That's it. That's the main thing. That's it. Well, let, let's read this scripture. Uh -huh. Yeah. Read. What's it say? Oh, I ain't tell you. You should have guessed. <laughs> uh, 14, 15. <laughs> And this is the confidence that we have in him. Now, this is the confidence. This is what the knocking is about. Uh, it's expectation and having confidence in God. Mm -hmm. uh, read. That if we ask anything according to his will. Now, that's what all the seeking is about, to bring you to the will of God. Mm. You may have a wrong motive to start out with, but, the, but God will refine your motive mm -hmm. so that you, you will line up with his desire. Mm -hmm. And you'll have confidence. Mm -hmm. If we ask anything according to his will, he and he heareth us. He hears you. Read. And if we know that he hear us, uh -huh. whatsoever we ask, we yes. know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Yes. He'll do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's it. He'll do it. You got a word about it. That's it. He'll do it. What verse is that? 15. All right, that's good. All right, my brother. So God wants to bless you. He said, uh, he said they that come to God diligently seek yes. help. He's the rewarder. Yes. 
He will reward you. And how do you know your blessings are from God? Because they won't add no sorrow. Uh -huh. When you begin to start having sorrow with what you have been blessed with, then you, God didn't give it to you. Amen. Amen. Car payments. Yes. The house notes. Yeah, get from God and make you rich. Yeah. 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 No sorrow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, so asking makes your request known. Seeking literally clarifies the request. It purifies it, gets it right. Mm -hmm. The knocking gives you the ability to go after it mm -hmm. with expectation. Mm -hmm. Because if I knock on this door, I, I believe that there's somebody behind it yes. to open it, to answer. Mm -hmm. huh? So I'm going to keep it knocking. I'm going to be persistent. Wow. I've done what you told me to do. I, yes. I, I lived the way you wanted me to live. Yeah. I, 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 I'm waiting. Yeah. And then when the door opens, wow. I, I walk through. Wow. I have what I have. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm ready for it. Yes. <laughs> what came to me, Bishop, as you was knocking, that's like you say, that's that's the urgency. That's the that's the I'm ready for what I'm, I asked for. Yes. I'm ready for what I'm seeking you for. Yes. You know, now, now I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm in your face now. Yes. Do, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yes. Here I am. I'm yes. ready for it. I went through the process. Yeah, I went through the process. Ready. Ready. Now I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Urgency. Uh -huh. Expectation. <laughs> Come on, God. I know you're coming. Yeah, your huh? I'm, yeah I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I, I done what you asked. I did what you asked. I believe. I've seen you. I know you're great. Huh? Uh, I got the right home. Right. Huh? I got good understanding. Yeah. I've sought the kingdom. Sure. Huh? And his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm ready. Yes. That's why we gotta pray. Amen. Amen. This Bible class started out better than I thought. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. All right. All right. Well, everybody's good. I'm good. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Prayer on tomorrow. Yeah. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Thank you, Lord. I thank God. I thank God for you all. And I thank God. I thank God for the level of wisdom and knowledge and understanding that He's given to me. Amen. Yeah. Let's be doers, <laughs> not hearers only. Yeah. Amen.